Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Aircraft Certification Channel. This space was created to share information about aircraft development and certification. So if you are passionate about aviation, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be aware each time that you upload a new video. I'm Clarissa Fidel, and today I will be talking with Israel Borges about MRB, the Maintenance Review Board, and the CMCC, the Certification Maintenance Coordination Committee. Israel, you explain the importance of both and the correlation between them. Israel was with us before talking about aircraft maintenance. So if you didn't watch his video yet, you can do it through the link that you appear on your screen. You also can know more about his professional journey through the link that you'll be in the description area. I hope you like this video today. Welcome aboard and enjoy your journey. Hi, Israel. How are you? Thank you for being here with us. Hello, Clarissa. How are you? Thanks for having me. As promised in your last video, you'll be explaining to us the MRB process, right? The Maintenance Review Board process, right? So please, can you explain this process to us? Oh, yeah, definitely. For the Maintenance Review Board, so basically, it's, it's, it's a group of people, right, which uh, uh, you have the authorities, the operators, the, uh, that the, the customers, right, that are going to operate the aircraft, the suppliers, the manufacturer, of all the uh, different disciplines. And, and the, uh, so basically the maintenance review board is, uh, is a group of, with the authorities, right? And, and the, uh, it, there is this committee called the Industry Steering Committee that is also subdivided uh, in different working groups. And those working groups, they, by using the MSG3 methodology, they're gonna uh, review each part of the aircraft using the, the different, one of the, uh, each one of the four uh, uh, approaches of MSG3. And they will identify all the maintenance requirements. So there are multiple meetings where these groups uh, get together uh, and they review the, uh, the systems and the structures and all the zones and, and the protections, the likelihood of protections of the aircraft. So we have a system working group for electrical propulsion, mechanics, and flight controls, and, and so on. And the other one for structure, for zonal, and lighting. So at the end, these working groups produce the results that are then submitted to the industry steering committee. The steering committee reviews and is accepted. That. And then at the end of the process, they, they provide the results to the maintenance review board as part of the certification. It's interesting that you mentioned about the operator's participation in the steering committee, besides of their framers, uh, the parts manufacturing, the authorities. Can you explain the, the role of the customers in, the, in this committee? Uh, if that's a way uh, to acquire uh, information about cost or feedback on the feasibility of a maintenance. So what is exactly the importance uh, of the participation of the operators in the MRB? So, so the, well, the, the, the operators, they, they provide valuable uh, feedback uh, and they are, nece they, they are necessary to participate in this process to validate a lot of the, the assumptions and, and information that are uh, like validate a lot of the assumptions that are used in the uh, MSG3 analysis, the analysis itself. So they are, so that's why the, the operators, they send the specialists to each one of the working groups and they also participate uh, in like in the uh, steering committee. Right? So it's also important, uh, uh, like the, their participation, like brings the operator close to the design, like through these forums, they, they get exposed to the details of the design where they can discuss and influence the design. And also another important aspect of their participation that they're gonna validate the results of these analysis, like check if it's the, the, the maintenance that's being, the maintenance requirements that are being produced are, are feasible uh, and they're gonna have an acceptable impact on their operation. Okay, so that's why it's important to have the the maintenance review board. Uh, but obviously uh, the ACs, uh, the, they, they, they also allow uh, uh, a process that does not include the operator, right? Like something that's uh, conducted like internally in the uh, manufacturer side, but it's, it, it, it might 
vary like depending on the type of product. But normally for commercial products, like for commercial aircraft, like the, the customers, we, we have a maintenance review board, a full maintenance review board where the operators are involved. Israel, in your last video, you also mentioned the CMCC. Can you explain what is the CMCC stands for and the correlation with the MRB? Yeah, I'm gonna put a screen, uh, another uh, slide here, yes. So this is a chart that uh, is in the AC2519, uh, which is a classical chart. So it's pretty much, so I, I'll walk you through this so we, and for us to understand exactly uh, what's in this board. So basically here we have the design and the design is then reviewed by using the uh, safety uh, analysis process, like, uh, and with the uh, like default tree analysis uh, produces some of those requirements for the latent failures, which are called the candidate certification maintenance requirements. So they're basically tasks to detect uh, latent or hidden failures uh, on the aircraft failures that they happen and you don't know what they happen unless you do a check to, to identify if they are failed or not. So those requirements are them, they, they lead, they, they contribute to safety failures on the aircraft. So they're very important. But on the same way, you have MSG3 that's also reviewed analysis with all the process I just described. And they produce also requirements, right? So in order to avoid uh, redundant requirements from both these analytical process and the MSG3, there is this forum that's gonna review and discuss the, uh, the, the the tasks if in and if like in some cases the, uh, the the CCMR that's produced can be uh, uh, like rely on an MRP task that has already been produced. So all these agreements they they, they happen in the context of this forum called Certification Maintenance Coordination Committee which also include the same uh, representatives from this group, like the uh, MRB group, plus the certification authorities that oversee the uh, uh, system safety assessment process. So at the end, only the tasks that are considered really, really important, uh, like they cannot be relied upon the uh, MSG3 produced tasks that could be uh, called uh, uh, CMRs, like the certification maintenance requirements. And there okay. they have to have a very, very special control by, by the operators. Okay, so the final CMR is the end of all the analysis. It means that you have the CCMRs coming from the full trees and also you have the results of the MSG3 analysis. Then you combine all these, you define the final CMRs. Is my understanding correct? Like, like the... No, the, the CMRs are independent tasks that are not necessarily uh, existing in the MRB, right? So only the ones, like there's these candidates, there are some tasks that they can be combined or, or like covered by the MRB tasks. So those don't need to be CMRs. Oh, this is very interesting. It means that you um, cover both sides, right? So then you guarantee that you are correct and you're not forgetting anything and avoid the um, duplication of tasks. I think this is very useful information for people that work with safety and sometimes doesn't know uh, this detail of information. So I would like to thank you very much for being here with us. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe yet, do it now. And you can check also uh, other interesting content about aircraft maintenance in the link that you appear in your screen here and other uh, interesting videos about different subjects in the other links that you appear here. Thanks for watching us and see you in the next video.